this one time Andy phones me. He's rattling. Got no money, he says. Have you got any stuff? Well, I just had a dig in my ass, which is about the only place I've not been. And all I've got left is the wash, the residue in the spoon, the shit, basically. He says that'll do. I'm coming over. So he hobbles over and he comes in and he leans his stick up against the wall. I sucked up the wash into a syringe and I dig him in the neck. <laughs> Quick and easy. When a man just starts going completely do lally. Shouting all sorts. And slowly hops out of his mind. I can't join you, I says. You see, I've got this um, metal tag in my leg, see? And he left. Just 20 minutes later. Just 20! His mum phoned. She's panicking, saying he's gone completely fucking mental. Like, can his help urgently? I thought to myself, fuck it. Did I give my mate that final shot that sent him over the edge? I ran outside. I found him outside the block of flats where he lived. He'd thrown himself onto a metal fence. The spokes had pierced his chest. There's blood coming from his nose and his eyes. I have to physically lift him off. He's dead. Don't you see? This was my one and only best mate. And I've killed him. I told the police. The first I knew is when his mum phoned for help. 